Maze Plus is here, and alongside that, we've got a new mower loading wagon combo. Yay! Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got some new and updated mods to take a look at for Farm Sim 22 on a Saturday. Let's do it. In total, we got four mods for all platforms. We got one new, the mod in front of you right here, and PC Mac players got three new today. We're going to load up this Rabiri wagon and take a look at the customization. And just heads up, I normally make videos Monday through Friday on new mods, but today's a Saturday. It's also six in the morning, so my voice is not all here yet. Let's do it, yeah! All right, so your one new mod for all platforms is the Rabiri RS100RB from the SMI modding team. This is a mower and loading wagon all in one. It requires only 85 horsepower. It's 3.1 tons, so you could get away with probably a larger small tractor, maybe even a smaller medium tractor. It holds 35,500 liters. However, you can drop that to 34,000 if you want to with a different back on it. That's a pretty cool setup right there. Also, uh, it's got a 2.5 meter working width at 11 miles per hour. Now there are two different backs. This is just simply an unloading feature. So with this, you can unload uh, via left and right. And with this, it just unloads straight back. If you guys are feeding your animals straight grass, this may be what you want to do. Go in the field, mow some grass, pick it up, and then simply come around and feed it right into their trough. That may be the easiest way. I don't have my Xbox beside me, so I don't know what the slot count is on this, but I'm going to guess it's probably somewhere between 10 and 20-ish. So, hey, if you know what it is, let me know in the comments. We've also got Maze Plus if we're making our way over to new mods for PC and Mac players. I did a full video on this yesterday. I will leave it linked down below. Definitely check that out because I do not have the time this morning to do a full video on this. But I've already done one, so you got everything that you need. We do have some new pieces of equipment with Maze Plus, though. We'll go over those real quick just so you know what's coming with it. So we have the Stata ZW4010. This is a CCM mill or a grain mill, so you can make grain grist out of uh, grain, or you can take corn and turn it into CCM. You got some different wheel options there. That's pretty cool. 15,000 liter capacity on that. Now, it'll take wheat, barley, and oats, turn that into grain grist, or you've got your... Uh, uh, corn. There you go. We also have a grassland subsoiler. This was a subsoiler for grassland. However, it won't tear up your grass. Very, very useful there. You've got your mulcher right here. It says cut a roller, but it's a mulcher. You got a multi-pack. This just simply works with all the new setups with the smaller bales. And then this will wrap up those larger bales for you guys. And I'll also work with all the Mags Plus stuff, which is very nice. And then we've got a lot of different types of bales right through here. Um, one thing to note, I saw a lot of questions in the video yesterday. Maze Plus doesn't add any new crops. It just adds new field types. So if you guys want those new crops, they'll have to be implemented into the map. But the great thing is you don't need them. And we'll talk about that in a mod here in just a second. But you see, we got a lot of stuff with this. We also have a couple different semi trucks. We have the one from Duca. We also have the Stada. And we have the Duca trailer here as well, which will hold all of the Duca branded stuff. We also have some Maze Plus branded uh, uh, <laughs> the IBC takes right here. I believe these were a different brand, but that has simply or since been removed for the release. So there you go. Uh, Maze Plus is absolutely crazy. Uh, it's a global mod with various changes and additional features for PC players. The main focus is on making silage and feeding. Again, Check out my other video. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Your second new mod for PC and Mac players today is the Realism add-on Animal Grazing. It's exactly what it sounds like. It allows your animals to do grazing if there's grass in the area that they are in. This is pretty cool. Uh, it basically works like the grazing feature from Seasons in 19 and 17, if you guys use that on PC. However, the idea is completely new. The grass is eaten in stages, so each grazing step reduces the growth by one growth stage. We actually can see that if we go into the screenshots. Boom, boom, boom. It's completely different. <laughs> that screenshot didn't exist, did it? Uh, as long as they're below 25% total fill or volume in the feed, it will always fill up to 25% in one go. Also, if there's any food left in there, it'll only go down by one stage. Above 25%, 
and it adds the total food used per hour in grass and above 85 percent it doesn't add any more grass to the trough so there's always some food for a room for other feeds now there's a couple important things that you need to know ahead of time. Since all default and most mod husbandries have the short decoration grass in their grass areas, which doesn't grow and thus it, this can't be eaten, it needs to be changed. You can either paint it with the end game foliage painting. Most maps have either normal grass or meadow grass, paintable foliage enabled, do that. Alternately, you can always plow the meadow up and seed it with grass. Both of those work. This mod also includes the animalgrazing.xml, which contains all the settings to which the foliage areas are used to look for eatable grass, as it's called, which foliages are eaten, and then the growth stages as well as fill types are filled. All the settings can be adjusted if necessary, so jump in, check it out, have some fun. And your last mod today may be my favorite one out of all all of them, the Maze Plus Animal Food Additions. I love this. So this one is from the Alien Ball and Model Isha. It is from Maze Plus and it separates the Animal Food Additions XML and therefore the animal food settings in a separate mod for easy adjustment. It also overrides the settings for the base mod and the settings within the map. Oh, it's so cool. So you could change the animal food additions without changing anything on the map, thus, they use the same food settings across different maps very, very easily. It also has the benefit of not having to upload an entire map when playing multiplayer just for changing food settings. Go into the XML, boop, change it, and it's done. There's also a short description in the zip which describes how to change the animal food additions and what each value is for. I'm gonna be doing a separate video just for this, and I'm gonna see if I can share some of my animal food creations with you guys. It's gonna be in a few days, I'm out of town, so, Stay tuned for that video. Check the first pinned comment. And there you go. Some early Saturday morning mods. Kind of like Saturday morning cartoons. It's all better on a Saturday morning. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new around here and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I think I got four videos today. So sit back and relax. We've got a long day ahead of us. Anyway, hope you have a good one. We'll see you later. Peace.